Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing a video showing how I can take a InDesign file set for digital or RGB output and convert that over to uh, CMYK ready for print. This came from a, uh, the motivation for this video came from a Reddit post that I saw. Is there a way to make changes apply to RGB and CMYK at the same time? I have a document that needs frequent updating. I am exporting for both print and digital. Currently working in RGB, need to adjust to uh, swatch values for CMYK each time I want to print the latest version. Is this possible to automate this? Thanks. So what I have here is a file that I set up. This is from the official Tokyo 2020 um, branding standards guide basically if I go into my swatches uh, palette here you can see that I have all of my colors exactly as the um, RGB colors are listed here so if I click on my red here you can see my RGB value is 238 51 and 78 just as it is below here if I click on this you can see it this is a process color and the color mode is set to RGB. And I've done that for all the other colors here. So if I take this now and I export it, and I will just leave this here, RGB original file, I'll hit save. When I go up to my output, I'm going to make sure that my color is set to document RGB. Uh, if you're using a preset like press quality, it will automatically put it to document CMYK. So in this case, I'm going to change it to document RGB. Hit export. And now in uh, Acrobat Pro, the PDF is open. And if I go into my um, output preview, you can see that <clears throat> even though I hover over the color, it's going to show me the CMYK process. But there's a cool little... Um, area here that if you just click on show and change this from CMY or from all to CMYK you can see how everything disappears if I click on RGB this shows me that everything here is set to RGB color and that's why nothing shows up under CMYK so now how do we get this converted over to CMYK to uh, get it ready for print. Let's say we're going to send this off to a, um, you know, a printing press, and they're going to output this as a process CMYK file. Well, you can send the RGB file just fine. However, there may be some issues with color consistency between what you expect and what is actually going to output, because the color conversion might not be perfect. And I'll show you exactly what I mean by that. If I go into my print production, if I go into my pre-flight, I go to um, convert uh, to CMYK only. I'm going to hit analyze and fix. This That's one of the uh, default pre-flight profiles in Acrobat Pro. And I'm just going to call this uh, CMYK converted. And I'll hit save. And so you can see here, convert. Uh, color to US web coded swap version 2 720 objects so it converted everything just fine if I go back to my output preview and I click on RGB you can see now nothing shows up and if I leave it on CMYK everything shows up here so perfect we've com we've converted everything over to CMYK right so now we can go ahead and send this off to press except that the colors are not exactly the way that we wanted it to be or want them to be. And what do I mean by that? So right here, if I hover over the red color here, you can see the original RGB output was 238.51.78. And the CMYK desired output is 094.65. So if I hover over this red color, it should have 094.65 as my... Um, CMYK percentages, right? But you can see that's not the case. It's not too far off, but it will be far enough off that it will not match 
what is desired here. So in this case, it's coming out to 0, 92, 60, 0 instead of 0, 94, 65. The green is correct. The black is correct. The yellow here is a little bit off also. And the blue is also a little bit off. So this is going to present a little bit of a problem if we send this to press. It's not going to look exactly like how we want the color, the CMYK, CMYK colors to output. So how do we solve that problem? Well, uh, let me close this out. You can go back into your InDesign file, and now you can go in here and you can change all of these values if you want. Um, but it can be very tedious, and if your original design is basically always set to RGB and you just need to transform that to CMYK later either you have to have a second set of swatches in here and you have to constantly um, switch all of your swatches before you do output which can be very very time consuming and tedious so we don't want to do it that way luckily we can set up a pre-flight within Adobe Acrobat that can do all that work for us so I'm going to go back into my RGB original file here and I'm going to go into pre-production, pre-flight again, and I'm going to, I already set this up here, but I'm going to do it from scratch again. So I'm, I'm let's delete this real quick. So we're going to go up to options, create fix up, and we're going to give it a name. In this case, let's call it um, map Olympic RGB colors to CMYK colors. And we'll just say maps uh, RGB to proper CMYK color output. All right, and the type of fix up we're going to search for is called map colors. So if I just search map, this shows up right here. And this is where we're going to put in um, all of these specifics. Now, if you recognize this from a previous video I did, I showed you how to map colors from one CMYK to another color and make it a spot color. In this case, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be changing RGB values to CMYK values. So we want our source color uh, model to be CMY or uh, excuse me, RGB. And you want the third option here, the zero and 255. And that's exactly where we're going to input these values that we have here. So I'm just going to go right across here going from this uh, blue yellow black all the way to the red so my original color that we want to plug in is 0 129 200 and that's from this value right here or you could pull it from your InDesign file and then we're going to map this to a CMYK percentage which is what these are and so we want to change that to 100 37 0, 0. and we want to have this be a uh, apply to all vector and text objects and then down here we're going to add another step to this pre-flight and basically we're just going to go down the list here and do the same thing for all the other colors so 0 34 91 0 uh, oh, excuse me 0 these are the RGB I'm sorry 252 177 49 and then we're going to change that to 0, 34, 91, 0. Okay. Same thing. We're going to apply this to text, all uh, vector and text objects. And then another one. I know the black one worked from before, but let's just put it in anyway, right? So we're going to go 0, 0, 0. And then go to 100%. And if you're curious what these are, these values, the source car color value, when you put in RGB, this is the red or the uh, red, green, and blue. And if you're using CMYK, this is cyan, magenta, yellow, black. Uh, let me go back down here. Again, we're going to apply that to all vector and text objects, and then we're going to get these last two. So RGB. This is for the green. So zero one sixty six eighty one. We're going to map this to. 100, 0, 100, 0, and one last one to put in here. RGB is 2, 
38, 51, 78. CMYK values are 0, 94, 65, 0. And again, we need to apply this to all vector and text objects. So I'm going to hit OK. And now if you see here, if you search out map in your uh, the toolbox here, you'll see this is the profile we just created. So map Olympic RGB colors to CMYK colors. I'm going to hit fix. And I'm going to call this uh, CMYK converted properly. I'll hit save. It's going to go ahead and run through it. You can see here it did it to 300 objects. So if I go back in here and I click on my RGB, again, this has disappeared. The reason these didn't disappear is because we did not apply any kind of um, conversion method to this part of the doc of the uh, the color palette here. But this is not really important. It's the colors up above that are important. So if I go back to CMYK, this shows all the CMYK elements. And if I go back to all, it shows us everything. And so again, now these what these should be is 0, 94, 65. If I hover over, you can see over here to the right, 0, 94, 65. 100, 0, 100, so that's right. This is right. 0, 34, 91, that's correct. And 100, 37, 0, 0. So now all of these colors are converted over to CMYK properly. Now you can send this off to the printer and they will print exactly with these values here just as the branding standards have uh, been set up to. So that's how to change RGB to CMYK for print and maintain, in this case, brand branding standards. Again, if you have um, more colors um, in your swatches, you can add additional colors. You just keep basically going through the, um, the pre-flight here. And once you go to edit, you can just come down here to the bottom and you can continue adding more and more steps doing more and more colors uh, if you only have two colors obviously you only have to do it twice if you have one color you only got to do it once so it's a quick way to do that and the, the nice thing about that is this pre-flight is now saved in here so if you're working on a second document and you have all the same colors you just pop in here to your pre-flight you run this and it'll do it um, it'll change it for that document as well and if you are doing longer documents, say you have a 200 page document that has all of these colors in here, running that pre-flight will run it for the entire length of the document. So if it's 200 pages long, it'll run through all 200 pages and change all the colors inside accordingly. Thanks for watching everybody. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them down below. I appreciate all the support. Please give a like, share it. Um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and if you're interested in a little bit more um, supporting the channel please check me out on pa patreon or leave a super thanks uh, down below thanks again folks and i'll catch you on the next one